Hi, I'm Robert Almeida, Pneumatics Product Manager at ProX Technologies, an elite SMC distributor. I'm here today to talk to you about the ZK2 Series Vacuum Ejector from SMC. The ZK2 Series Vacuum Ejector from SMC contains a series of vacuum savings functions that help reduce costs. When it comes to standard vacuum ejectors, in order to support a load for any period of time, they need to keep consuming compressed air. The longer a load is supported, the more compressed air is consumed. And the more compressed air that's consumed, the higher your costs are going to be. This is very inefficient and costly. The ZK2 series is different in that it has a pressure sensor that monitors vacuum in the vacuum chamber. The pressure sensor is also connected to the supply valve. Once the vacuum pressure has been achieved, a level set by you, the pressure sensor will turn off the supply, shutting off all flow paths, holding the load with zero flow. It'll constantly monitor the pressure at the vacuum cup, waiting for the pressure to decay. Once that pressure decays to a certain threshold, which you determine, the vacuum ejector will open up briefly just to reestablish vacuum again and then turn off. That momentary burst of air consumption is sufficient to reestablish vacuum. While the supply valve is off, the vacuum ejector is supporting a load with zero air consumption. Proax's pneumatic specialist, Ankit, is here and he will demonstrate to you exactly how these work. Hi, my name is Ankit, a pneumatic specialist at Proax Technologies. So here we can see there is a conventional vacuum ejector and ZK2 series vacuum ejector with energy saving function. So first of all we will see how conventional vacuum ejector works. We have a on off switch, a flow switch to measure the flow, vacuum pad with adapter and buffer and it is attached to the vacuum ejector. Now let's begin. So initially when we supply the air to the vacuum ejector we can see the air consumption of the ejector here on this display which is 44 liter per minute. Now let's see what happens when we attach a pin ball to the vacuum pad. You can see even the ball has picked and the vacuum pressure has established air is continuously flowing across the ejector. It means there is no any interlock between vacuum switch and the supply valve and still air consumption is the same. We can say this whole air consumption is just the wastage. We have ZK2 vacuum ejector with the same setup. Vacuum ejector, flow switch, vacuum pad and everything is just same as we tested with the conventional vacuum ejector. Now let's start the cycle. We can see initially air consumption is lower than conventional vacuum ejector. It means we are saving some air, air here compared to the conventional ejector with increased suction flow rate which will reduce the adsorption time. Alright, now same bow has picked by the pad and vacuum pressure has reached to the set limit set by us. So it will generate a signal and send it to the supply valve to stop the supply. So we can see the air is not flowing at all across the vacuum ejector now. Actually. Here ejector is trying to re-establish the vacuum pressure because this is not a perfect seal and air is leakaging from the ambient all the time. So we can hear this noise which is actually wall is trying to re-establish the vacuum pressure. So along with the energy saving function ZK2 have many more features which makes it perfect for the end of arm tooling solution. First of all, we can see here the overall footprint of this conventional ejector is larger whereas the ZK2 is more compact. In terms of weight, the ZK2 is more lighter than the conventional ejector. These ejectors are available as a standalone unit or it also available for the manifolds. Actually, we can mount these ejector slices onto this manifold and it has uh, common supply and in individual supply as options. So we can choose the suitable options from the available options for our requirement. For electrical connections, 
Manifold has um, different options like uh, individual wiring, multi pin D sub connector, and flat ribbon type connections. All these features and options makes it suitable for the end of arm tooling solutions. For more details on ZK2 uh, docking ejector and other end of arm tooling solutions, please contact your uh, local uh, ProX sales rep. And thanks for watching this video.